The smile inside is the number one most important practice in the Tao. Now the loving energy multiply more and more and more and more. Now you feel warm, you feel energy. How many people have you taught over the years? I think it's a few hundred thousand people. The inner smile is that you learn how to smile inwardly and smiling to your organs by organs by organs. Like uh, we said, our body, our organs, like in, in Bible Jesus said, our body is the temple of God. But in the Tao, say the same thing but more specified. You, our organs is the temple of the soul and our soul and the spirit. God is spirit, if I keep my organ healthy, now the spirit will come to stay with me, or God will come to stay in my temple. But if your own temple are broken and leaking and all kind of rain coming down, nobody wants to stay there. Okay, so purify your inside so God and the spirit God will, will come, come there. Right. Okay, I get that. How do you smile on the inside? The smile inside is the number one most important practice in the Tao. We call it the creating cycle. So we, in our body, there are two energy can be multiplied, two organs can be multiplied. Heart can multiply love, joy, happiness, if you're connecting with unconditional love. So the heart in the Tao always, all the time they don't know Wi-Fi or internet, they don't know it. But they know that they are born to be connect. The heart is red, shining radiant, born to connect. So when you turn on your heart, how you turn on when you feel love, joy, happy. How you to be love, joy, happy? You don't have to be a holy man, but you only feel love, joy, and happiness. That is the key. Now, and you have to balancing with the negative. You don't have to be the holy man. Nobody perfect. But in the Tao set, we always talk about yin yang, negative, positive, uh, night and day, hot and cold, but must be fire balance. If they fire balance, I'm okay, we are okay. If the world, uh, so the most living places in the world is the place that are day and night equal, more equal. That is the place that we stay the most. We're not gonna stay in the, in the Alaska. <laughs> Yeah, the, in summer, three o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, the sun is still there. But in the winter, you only see two or three day, two hour of light. So it's not balanced that way. See, so now when we find balance, that is the key. So now the very simple, you smile to the heart. So I'm just close my eyes and smile yeah. into my heart. Am now, I smile to my face or just to my heart? You have to smile first in the eyes, then you lift up the corner of the mouth and you hold your hand in your heart. Now, in the Tao, we really require that you have some simple, simple anatomy knowledge. We call image. Very important is the image. All the practice in the world, all the religious in the world give you an image. A statue, mm -hmm. a temple, a church, a building. It's an image. But the Tao say, hey, your organ is your temple. So now if you can figure your heart, can, so we say, if you believe your mind have connection into the heart, so when you put your mind and feel it, and when you hold the heart image, you make connection. And when you smile, eye is the, the connection of everything. Okay. So we say, my connect, eye connecting with the mind and the heart. Okay. So when they're connecting together, now when you hold the image of the heart, you are really feel you are inside your heart. And am I thinking of like a biological heart? Or am I right. thinking of like a heart thing? A real heart. A real heart, okay. Right. And ha first of all, how do you smile with your eyes? You, on, you, show me. You see, when you, you look and you smile, so a genius smile. Okay, smile just with my eyes. Yeah, and the, the mouth lightly lift up. The smile in the eye is so important because that is written down in the, in the West. Mm. Parasympathetic is rest, Smile and rest. It start all from the eyes. When people look at you very angry, very stressed, the eyes. Mm -hmm. When people look at you and smile, they're very different. 
Okay. Now, when you smile to yourself, because you are you are putting the system into parasympathetic to calm them down, to rest them down, and go into digestion. They need the relaxing and and smiling and relaxing, and they go to digestion. But you are stressed, they stop all the digestion and go to war and fighting, shooting. Okay, so I got to constantly calm this system right. down. All right, so I'm smiling. And this is the best calming that people have. Okay. If they learn this, better than meditation. Oh, uh, this is the meditation. Okay. But energy, but in the Tao we call energy meditation, and energy multiplying meditation. Okay. So it not only empty the mind. Okay. So the the Tao is said. Energy meditation. You increasing more energy. You feel energy. You multiply the energy, and you work with energy because everything is energy. That's what the Einstein said. E equal m c square. Energy cannot be be destroyed, only transform. And the end of his life, he said, the whole universe is energy. That's it. We everything run by energy. No energy you cannot. Okay. So when we smile. Right, smile to the heart. I'm picturing the my mouth heart. The mouth, lighty, lift up, and the eyes really, just really genius smile. And you smile to the heart, hold your heart. Now, if you believe the heart store love, joy, happiness, if you believe that, yes, that's all. So you believe that the heart store love, joy, happiness. You smile to your heart. Now you activate the love, joy, happiness, and they're shining and radiant out. They shining radiant out. They shining radiant out. Now, this shining radiant out is make connection, connecting to people, or connecting to the unconditional love. That is the love that in the universe that we have it. Okay, it, you don't have to believe in anything. They are there. So when you receive this unconditional love, they multiply more love. That's why heart can multiply. Heart can multiply. Okay. So they might find more love. Now, when you multi- when when you activate the love, now you bring down the small intestine, and your hand move. Usually, we take a longer time than that. Okay, <laughs> we make it short words. Okay. So when you move the hand around the small intestine, in the Tao said, small intestine is the empty. Empty space can multiply. So when you have love and you put down the small intestine and you spiraling it. Spiraling it now, the loving energy multiply more and more and more and more. Now you feel warm, you feel energy, you feel good, and you move this energy into the spleen and pancreas. So when you go to the spleen and pancreas, it's also started to activate. So the love, joy, happiness come into the spleen, pancreas, and stomach. You learn how you are smiling and sending love. Love can heal anything because loving energy, a real energy, heal you. That's why people doing this, they get heal. Simple, simple, yeah, they get heal. So you 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 activate and you wrap the spleen and pancreas. So you have to think about, have some image about the spleen, have some image about the pancreas. And active wrap them with love, joy, happiness. So that's the first part. First one is love, joy, happy. Go over the whole body first, and later on we separate each organ emotional. Okay, and we multiply them in the stomach. So now you multiply more energy in the stomach, and when you smile, hold the image and spiral. They are multiplying. So we call fire when it burn become ashes and become earth. That is the spleen. And when you have enough earth, it will condense and creating more metal. And that is the lung. So you come up to the lung. So you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now you breathe into your lung, and you wrap them around with love, joy, happy appreciation. Because the heart can multiply so much love, and when you get more love in the in the lungs, now you're moving down into the last intestine. So you are where ascending column, transverse column, descending column, 
Okay, so when you do that way, now you multiply the energy. Okay, this is the rule and the law of fire, fire, fire elements and creating cycle. Okay. Okay. And and now, so when you now when the metal it condense more water, and now we rub the hand warm, we cover the kidney. So the kidney is on the back that yeah. you can cover them. Okay. So when you cover the kidney, and you smile, hold the image of the kidney, smile to the kidney, feel nice and warm, feel nice and warm, and wrap them with love, joy, happy appreciation. And now we come up to the bladder. So when people do at home, they should take longer time. Longer time than this. And they started to really hold the image and smile to it, and sending the love from the heart, wrap them okay. around. So you're loving all of your organs, right? That's and you're the multiplying the love in your heart. No, you, it, all organ will multiply themselves. Multiply themselves. Okay. Because go along to the element. Okay. Now the bladder. Now the bladder. Okay. Bladder is empty, so you can multiply more. Okay. I'll all trust you on this organ. theory. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. So now, when you spiral on the bladder, now it started to modify more and more and more because each organ help each other. That's okay. the whole key. Organ help, organ modify each other, help each other. Okay. So that we call five element. So when you feel more and more energy, sometimes you feel a lot of energy go right down to the sex organ. Okay. And is that good or bad? Very good because oh, you okay. feel arousal. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when you feel a lot of energy and it spread down into because. The bladder is right on the prostate gland, and on the testicle, and and on the penis. Okay, it's right there. It's right there. The arousal, because just now I said the sexual organ is the second organ that can multiply a lot of energy. Okay. So arousal is so important. Arousal more, arousal more, arousal and orgasm. Okay. And orgasm and more orgasm is a healing power. Okay. People, animal are dying for orgasm. That's it. <laughs> That's just one orgasm. Why? Because every single cell need orgasm to make them split. And this is the West research, and discover the hay. So we call DNA renewal need arousal, orgasm, love and compassion combined together. Boom. And this what the whole practice. Okay. When these two energy combine, they multiply. And the last one is the liver. The liver. Okay, don't forget so about the water. So water, give to the liver. Okay. And when you come up to the right hand side and you wrap around the liver and you feel love, joy, happiness, wrap around the liver. Now it and it grow the tree from one seed to a tree blossoming to a fruit and you can grow a forest. Okay. You chop the wood. Now you put more into the hot fire. It burn more fire. Okay. And you go on again. The heart, the small intestine, the spleen, pancreas, stomach, the lung, the large intestine, the kidney, and the liver. You go on at least six times to all these things. All yeah. right. So that Just could take an hour. Cycle. Take half, uh, ten or twenty minutes to okay. one hour. And with the elements like earth and metal and wood and fire and seeds, mm. it's it's. It's not necessarily that there's wood and metal inside me, but it's a way I can visualize these things right, to interact right, and to right, multiply. Right. And by visualizing it correctly, I'll get more out of the practice. That is the energy more. Okay. Each one they multiply each other. Okay. And that's why they call fire element. So the fire it burn become earth. The earth, if you condense the earth a lot, become metal. Right. The metal condense, they draw water down. Okay. And you have more water. Okay. And the water when you you have more water. You put put into the wood, or you put into the seed, or put in the tree. The tree grow. Okay. And he went to become a forest. Now you have more more wood to burn to be fire. And now you have fire make more earth, and the earth make more metal, and metal make more water. Okay. And now coming back again.